Hi, it's me again, um, Robin Anderson Gunter. I'm going to start adding some photos here. I'm going to be jumping around on these photos, so I'm going to try to keep um, each photo to the point. Um, these photos here is going to be a job from Brash and Berry General Contractors out in Odom County, Kentucky. It was with the YMCA. Um, there, these pictures and um, a couple of these individuals are the ones involved in the Jessica Dishon kidnapping, rape, and murder. Um, and one of the individuals was one of the ones that was lied about and framed for being the one that was involved in the Jessica Dishon kidnapping, rape, and murder. Um, again, this is a Brashbury general contractor job in 1999 out in um, Odom County. It's the YMCA. These are the pictures. That individual right there is Bucky Brooks. He was one of the ones accused of being involved with Jessica Dishon um, and his brother Tommy. This one here is Sean Johnson. And as you can tell, the resemblance to Bucky is amazing. If you don't know who is who and you're seeing people at a distance or someone is lying, you might get a little bit confused as to who's who. Sean Johnson was one of the ones involved in the kidnapping, rape, and murder of Jessica Dishon. Again, this is Bucky or David Bucky Brooks. This is the YMCA in Odom County. This is Sean Johnson. I'm going to put the two together just so you can see the difference. And the and how similar they are. Sean Johnson. David Bucky Brooks. both at the Odom County at the same time. This is a job that um, was supposedly being run by Rodney. Um, here's more pictures, which here is Rodney at the YMCA again in Odom County. There's those pictures again, Sean Johnson, Rodney Gunter, David Bucky Brooks, all at the same time at this job site. Here's others at the job site. This one here is Ray. As you can see, there's beer, party, and carrying on going there at the job site. This is a job trailer on the property of the YMCA. This Ray person I met um, through Rodney Gunter. This is a uh, convicted drug dealer through Jefferson County, Kentucky. Um, I met him. Um, I will elaborate more on meeting him later, but I met him after the divorce of Rodney Gunter. Here's another man there. Um, this is where Rodney is, I guess, holding a gun and pretending, or maybe not pretending, for people to keep their mouth shut. Again, these are the pictures, all at the YMCA of Oldham County. Now, again, you'll see that police call log that I put out there. It was, um, I believe, January the 6th, where I went forward trying to prove um, those involved against Jessica. I did uh, a report with Charlie Mann. Um, and if you'll recall, um, soon after that, Charlie Mann got on the stand and a mistrial was declared. So at least the Brooks brothers were cleared. They were being set up and framed. Um, this is the farm that they uh, had Jessica at. This is a uh, uh, mini pictures of it, but I'm going to do individual ones. This is the farmhouse. Here's 
here's a satellite they set up. Everything they did to that little girl um, was, I'm going to use different words here because they've changed things, um, recorded it or live streamed it um, through the satellites. This was a brand new satellite that was installed at this farm. This is the well that they had put Jessica in. I obtained all of these pictures and all of this stuff from um, Rodney Gunter. He brought all of this stuff out to my house at 224 Patricia Lane. He had this stuff um, out in my garage. And now this is the well after I reported um, all the stuff I knew about the Dishon case. They went out there to the farm afterwards and this is what they did to the well and this is how arrogant I, I feel that they are about it. It looks as though they've cleaned it up, they removed the evidence, and then they placed a tombstone on it. This is the barn. Again, right there is the well after cleanup. You notice there's no vehicle there at all. This is after cleanup, that picture. Here's before cleanup. This van was there. Um, this van has Ohio license plates. This van was there as I was reporting um, the evidence, the individuals involved, and where they had taken her. This was a farm that um, was abandoned, for, nothing around it for miles. Um, these are some of the mailboxes that were still on this farm. This is the barn. When you zoom in here, you could actually see imprints up here of where someone was sitting. The van. Just more pictures, more snapshots of the farm. There was evidence all over the place at this place everywhere that I was reporting and then after reporting it they went out there and they cleaned up all the evidence which you can tell by the pictures of how it first started how they cleaned everything up this is after cleanup this is the inside When I first reported it, there was a mattress on the floor right there, um, right here. As you'll see me zooming into it, there was a mattress there. Um, not sure what was on the mattress, but it was very visible. Um, now, as I went back out there after reporting, you can see the mattress is gone and someone has brought uh, cleaning stuff in there and started cleaning up, as you can see here. When I first started reporting, that was not like that. There was a mattress right there on the floor. More of the inside, as you can tell how they have, um, someone has went out there after my reporting and cleaned it up. Mattress again is gone.
and one last picture of the farm here. And this is someone that um, showed up at my house at 224 Patricia Lane um, with Rodney. Uh, Rodney said that um, I believe he's either friends or related to Chris Cooley or uh, Cindy Cooley. Cindy Cummings, Cindy Gunter, whatever name she chooses to use. I don't know that for a fact. I've never checked it out. But um, he did show up at my house uh, at 224 Patricia Lane in Mount Washington, Kentucky. Um, as you can see back here is my house, which is hard to tell. Um, and I'm going to stop this one right there. Thank you.